Okay, this is going to be a really fun episode. In this one, we're going to learn how to actually use some routing and uh, go between pages and actually build that ourselves. So uh, right now, let's go take a look at our application. Uh, make sure you're in the root of your directory. Type in Rails S, and that'll get the server going. And then go up to Preview. And make sure to click Port 3000. If you do Port 3000 with SSL, uh, it's going to prompt you to pay, and if you don't have a paid version of Nitrous, then uh, you don't want to do that. So just click port 3000, and you can see our application. And you can also see that if we go to invoices, uh, this is where all of our data that we created in one of our first episodes lives. Uh, we want to fix that, so we don't have to see that uh, opening page anymore. So. In order to do that, we just have to come first to uh, inside your directory, whatever you have it called, go to config, and then click on routes. And this is going to open up this big, huge file. Right now, all it says is resources invoices, which is good, but uh, we need to actually make it this a little bit better. So get rid of all of that commented text. And we're going to click root, or type in root two, and then type in colon, and we'll just say invoices pound sign index. And then just save this file, come down to your console. And because we have the server going, um, Make sure that you just hit Control C to end it. And now, if you want to give yourself some more room, and type in rake routes, and you'll see that we actually have a full list of routes that we can choose from. So uh, you can see now that our git uh, root, which is the, uh, the root to our home directory, now points to invoices index. So if we start the server back up again, let's see what our home page looks like now. So click preview, port 3000, and look at that. Our home page now is this, and we've been able to get rid of the out of the box uh, Rails one. So that's good. We click out of here, and now we're going to actually add some uh, routing so we can actually navigate a little bit. So we're gonna click on app, and then we're gonna click on views down at the bottom, and then click on layouts. And something you'll notice is you have, by default, this application.html erb file. And what this does is, this is uh, called for every single page on the entire app. So Every page that you uh, call is going to bring in these style sheets, the JavaScripts, meta tags, the title, everything like that. And it's also going to uh, bring in the HTML uh, headers and the body and, and everything off. This yield component right in the center, this is where the views get displayed. So if we were to go between the new uh, create view and the index view, all of that's going to be shown uh, right inside this block. And so what it essentially says is load all of this first, then pick whatever view gets selected, and then close it all off. You don't really have to worry about that when you're building your app. Rails does it for you, but I just want to show you what that represents. And so one thing, uh, just to give you an idea of what we can do with that, um, we're going to add some content right in here and see how it actually stays there throughout the entire uh, site. So we're going to just say, hey, I'm here. Okay, and hit save, and now we will open this up again. Okay, and you see our text that says, hey, I'm here. Now if we click on new invoice, look at that, it's still there. So anything that you put up in this area or below this area 
is going to get displayed. And we'll eventually get into how we can put this uh, content inside different partials and uh, be able to call things uh, a little bit more dynamically. But uh, for right now, we're just going to do something super basic. And what that is, is we're going to be able to, I'm going to make the start of our navigation header up here. And so I'm going to throw in a few things. They're not going to be functional yet because we need to create those additional views. Uh, but for right now, it'll work and it'll at least show how you can get to the home section and things like that. And then in our next video, we're going to work on actually building those other ones out. So first, we're going to get rid of this text. And then we're going to type in uh, the little uh, less than sign, the percent sign, then equals, and then type in link to, and then we want to say home, and then comma, and then we want to say root path. End it with a percent sign, then the greater symbol, click save, Come back to application, hit refresh, and there you go, there's your home button. So now if we want to go, uh, say that we're here and we want to go home, you click on home and it takes you right back there. And you can see this now persists on every page. So no matter what we do, the home button's up there and we can click and go back to it. So uh, that's one spot. now. Let's just kind of flesh out the, uh, the rest of these. And like I said, in this video, we're not going to make them functional. We're going to save that for the next one. But at least this way you can have an idea. So we're going to say things like about us, um, contact, features, Facts, and we'll do one more for login. Click save, and this is not going to look styled. This is not going to be the way that we're. This is. It's not even going to look close to how this is going to end up looking. However, it's just getting things lined up. So hit refresh, and you can see these are all lined up, and they're right next to each other, which is nice. Right now, if you click on any of these, they are all going to take you right back home, right here. Uh, so obviously, that's not what we're looking to do. Uh, but this is just kind of fleshing it out. And I like to do this when I'm prototyping, just so I have an idea of where all of these buttons are going to go, what they're going to say. Um, because we're building an enterprise application, uh, it's going to have, uh, obviously, we're going to need to give the ability to do marketing to sell the application and you know all this is optional depending on what your business needs are but say that I'm building out an, an enterprise application I want to have a home uh, button that takes the user to home so they can get an overview of the company an about us section gives a bio about us contact so they can contact us a list of features facts login uh, one thing Obviously, we're trying to make money on this, so we're also going to say pricing. Hit refresh, and there we have pricing. So in the next video, we're actually going to build out all of these pages, so they're going to go into those, which will be a, a really cool way to, um, so you can see how the routes work inside Rails and how to control and manipulate views and do things like that. So I'll see you in the next video.